we are going trapping for the red tail hawk. It is the beginning of falconry season. Now is the time to catch yourself a red tail hawk if you're a falconer and you're permitted and you have all the proper licenses. Now for the birds that don't make the cut, we are going to delouse them. It's gonna be an exciting day. We're gonna get out there and catch some birds and we've got the GoPro set up for you so that you can see the captures in slow-mo. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's see, we've got the YouTube car, got some seven dust, got the trap, got the GoPros, got two energy drinks, one for you, one for me, Frank and Sour Rays. This is gonna be an epic adventure this morning. Just two guys against the wild out there trapping wild red tails. And we are on time. Wow, look at that, seven minutes ahead of schedule. I'm loving it, man. I hate being late. This is gonna be a, a good precursor for our trip to NAFA because when we go to NAFA, we're gonna be running through the territory of two different subspecies of red tail hawk. The Criders red tail, which is almost white, and then the Harlands, which is almost black. And when we get those birds, we're not gonna to wanna to miss not an ounce, not a second, not, not even a microsecond of video because those are incredible birds. The thing about trapping red tail hawks for falconry is the bird has to be less than one year old. And so you can tell how old a bird is by the coloration of its tail and the coloration of its belly band. Um, a young bird has a very white, distinct belly band and it's got a brown tail. So whenever we look for hawks, we don't want any hawks that have bright red tails. That's not what we're after. We rarely catch those because they're very, very wary. Like adult red tail hawks almost will never go down to a trap unless they're like stuck in a warehouse and they haven't eaten and drank anything for days and they're just like thirsty and they're so hungry and thirsty that they can't refuse themselves. No, these are wild red tail hawks that are eating very well every day. And so they got some spook to them and that's how, that's how they stay alive is they've got this natural suspicion. So touchy subject. Oh man, oh, I gotta talk safe about- belt. Safety first. I gotta talk about something that's touchy. I told my uh, clubhouse friends last night uh, at like before I went to bed that I was going uh, hawk trapping in the morning. Yeah. And they're like, "Why would you trap a hawk? Like, why would you take a hawk? Do, well, you, do two, you have any insight to that?" Two two reasons why you would want to trap a hawk. One, red tail hawks are full of parasites. As a matter of fact, of all the young red tail hawks that hatch, let's just take a hundred to make the math easy. 85% of them will die before this winter because of parasites. External parasites, internal parasites. And so one reason to trap a hawk is just to kill the external parasites on it and give it a better chance to live. The other thing is if you want to train a, a hawk for falconry, uh, you have to catch one and you want the right one so it takes catching the hawk to see if it's got a big enough feet, if it's aggressive enough, if it's got perfect feathers, if it's got good bone structure. And then if you catch a hawk that's not right, then you just turn it loose after you delouse it and kill all the external parasites. So every time you trap a hawk, you save a life. So if, if I was, if we were only just trapping red tail, I would totally go after that, but Oh, he just sliced. That means he'll, we could catch him right now. They like to hunt after they poop? Oh, yeah. Like, as soon as they poop, you can bet they're fixing to go catch something. That's the, that's the first give me. You learn something new every day. Yeah, when, well, when we throw a trap and we're just sitting and we're waiting and we're sitting and we're waiting, um, I'll be watching with the binoculars, and man, as soon as he poops, a bird's good to go. As we're looking for hawks, you'll hear me referring to birds as, that's a passage bird, which means it's a young bird. They've got longer tails by about an inch, inch and a half. After you've done this for a while, you can spot that when you're 
out looking at birds. Or I'll refer to it as a haggard bird or a hag, which means it's older than a year. It's got a shorter tail and the tail is red. Got any fun skunk facts? Um, skunk facts. Uh, the yellow, sticky, gooey stuff that comes out of the booty hole stinks really, really bad and makes you throw up. <laughs> Typically, the colder it is at night, the more apt they are to be out early. The warmer it is, it was fairly warm last night. It only got down to like 45. And um, so they don't burn as many calories. And so they're just not quite as hungry which is good because, you know, when you're, when we're doing what we're doing, we want to get some of the stuff on video. There goes a hawk. But whenever it's a warmer night, they're not as apt to be on the hunt early, especially the younger birds. Um, the older birds, man, they have been through starvation. And so they're like always keen to hunt all the time because they never know when they're not gonna get a meal and they don't wanna take any chances. You can tell by a bird's body language if he's into it or not. And this bird's not into it. I don't know, this guy over here probably got him spooked. Hawk trapping in urban environments. Um, one, you have to be a little bit of a daredevil. Two, you definitely have to keep your eyes on every single mirror you got. While abiding all because the laws of the road. While abiding all suggestions of traffic signs. <laughs> yeah, so in the state of Missouri, um, they've got some pretty liberal trapping laws. Um, you can take a bird just about any time. However, we falconers know better and we kind of police ourselves. <gasps> oh, 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 big old bird, get the trap ready. Oh wow, that is huge. It's a little hag. Do you want me to arm cameras? Uh, or you want to go for the passage one? Let me see. Yeah, those haggard birds, they're uh they're just wor wary. So we might as well just go pick that trap up. Alright, cool. I don't want to catch a hag anyway. I couldn't tell it was a hag till the last minute. Look at the underbelly of the tail, the under, underside of the tail. Also the face, you can really tell now. The face is totally different with the adult birds. The younger birds have a very white, light face. But the underside of the tail, from one side it's red, from the other side it's white. Usually though, when they're on the wire like that, you can catch them. A lot of adult birds. Yeah, there's been just a ton of hags a day. And, and you know, it's like we always have these theories, you know, like, well, it's all the adult birds have moved down from up north and they bully the young birds. And so the young birds are, they stay in the tree line. I mean, we always say all kinds of stuff, but I mean, who knows what it really is. I'm rolling. <coughs> Toss it out to the side. Up oh, there he goes. He's going after it. So we finally finally found a passage bird and we threw her on the trap as a matter of fact you can see her right there and we'll just sit here and watch her and in a minute she'll figure out that she's caught and we're gonna make a dip in the road and go get her but for now she's not caught yet <laughs> Yeah, I sold the foot pull away from the cage completely there. Yeah, I think I see the noose around the 
right foot. All right, I'm gonna spin around now. She's right outside your door. As big as this bird looked on the trap just then, it's not that big. So this is the classic look of, oh shit, I just got caught. And this is a male. So like, like nothing what I thought it would be. But look at this, look at the length of those talons. I do not want to get caught by one of those talons accidentally. Because she, if wild bird Got grabs you, here, I think. huh? Got oh, that's all right. So, um, I need the, uh, I need the uh, seven dust out of here. So, if you look at the bird, you see the the mites in it, right there. See those little things right there? Those are mites. In between the feathers, hold but it, hold it up again. right here, you can see the mites in between the feathers. Doesn't really have any flat flies, but does have. How you doing, sir? Oh yes, sir. We're uh, we're falconers, okay. and uh, <clears throat> we were trying to catch a hawk to use for falconry, but this one's too little, so we're just going to dust it for parasites and then turn it loose, get the external parasites off of it. Maybe three minutes. What we'll do is we'll just dust it with a seven dust, which is non-toxic, but very good for killing parasites. So do you really not want males? Um, it, well, it depends on what you want to do with them. But for falconry, you really want a big female. Is there any like permits you should have on hand, like if you do get stopped by law enforcement or anything? Well, I've got I've got my falconry permit in my pocket, and that serves as a trapping permit. You ready? I'm gonna let it go right that that way. All right, go for it. So that little male was not exactly what we wanted. And we're about to see a lot of red tails. Like we've got a lot of footage of red tails and we just couldn't exactly find the one we want, but we got some slow-mo footage of the next one coming at you. But I just wanted to kind of slide in here and let you know that we are running a whole series for anyone who has any aspirations to be a falconer. They can watch these videos and get a really good solid idea of the time commitment, how to, and what's expected of you. So when you go to a master falconer and ask them to apprentice you, you're already going to have a foundation that's easy for him to work on. And we've also got some really great trapping videos coming a lot of trapping videos coming. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, give us some thumbs up. And if you've got a question, just ask it down in the comments. Oh damn, that train. Oh, she went, she went right to it. I thought the train messed her up. No, she just flew off. Yeah, I see her flying off. Okay, he's on the pole.
Oh yeah, he's caught. Yeah, buddy. Let's go fast. <laughs> I just don't want to get run over. Abide all traffic laws. This was a, uh, this is getting closer. This bird's not quite what I'm looking for. Um, it is a female. You can tell by the big, thick, meaty talons, but this bird doesn't weigh enough. It's, um, it, it looks big because she's all fluffed up right now, but this is just not that big a bird. This bird's probably about 900, maybe a thousand grams. So we're gonna dust her for mites. She's got a broke feather. She's got one broke feather right there. She actually looks pretty good. Uh, she's got some mites back here. I don't see any flat flies on her, but she's just, uh, she's what we call a tweener. Definitely a female, if you look at the size of these feet. Yeah, the feet are much bigger. Yeah, but not a keeper by any means. So we're gonna dust her, get the mites off of her make her life better and then we'll let her go way to go little guys you're doing great gonna get you some cheese when we get back i am really looking for a really large female red tail i'm looking for something that's in the 15 16 1700 range um really never trapped a bird 1700 but i've heard of other people that are doing it um, the bird we just caught was a tweener it was at that 1,000, 1,100 gram size. You know, after you've trapped birds for a while, you get a feel for them, especially when you have your own hawks and you're a master falconer of so many years, you start to feel how much something weighs. And um, you, can just, you can just tell when the bird is right, you know? But anyway, that one, we dusted her off. We got all the external parasites dealt with. Um, these parasites that are on these birds uh, are never exposed to uh, insecticides. And so the seven dust at 5% that we're using is more than enough to just wipe out all the parasites. So these birds will be really clean, really healthy, really good to go to survive the winter time. That's the benefit they get for being trapped. So this bird wasn't exactly what I wanted. A lot of falconers would have kept that bird. It would have been a great bird, but it's just not exactly what I wanted. However, we've got a lot of trapping trips planned for the next couple of months. We are gonna find the perfect bird. We're going out to Reno, going out to Albuquerque, going out to Oklahoma. So eventually we will find the bird that we want. But I just wanna take a moment to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting us by clicking the links down below. And thank you for being here with us. We've got some great trapping trips planned.